I usually get here around two or like one o'clock, one o'clock or two o'clock. And then I tend to stay at least until three in the morning. But I was working on this commission, so I was staying until five or six in the morning. I'm Erin M. Riley. I had a show at the Extension Gallery at Orchard Skate Shop. So this show was scheduled and I started to find other artists. And Pakela was one of my top artists that I wanted to include. Her paintings, I've always loved her paintings and she just moved to the East Coast from San Francisco so I knew that she would be able to have her work over here. They're really beautiful, really delicate. Jason's work is portraits of women. They're not primped and proper. I've always loved how simple they are, but how, how expressive these girls are. So he was sort of like an obvious choice, but since he was a guy, I hadn't asked him originally. I start with an image and I print it out and then I trace it. I usually collect like tons and tons of images. Then I blow it up to scale and I, I trace it out just like simply on craft paper that gets pinned underneath the tapestry. And as I weave, I pin it and keep pinning it up and it rolls around with it. So it just sort of allows you to see what you're making and keeps everything to scale. I started making a lot of um, car accidents, but then I started finding images of teenagers and really going down the road of like the exploration and the um, self-portrait pictures of, that girls post online. For a while I was really into party pictures and like drunk girls. I think mostly because I was pretty worried about the state of young people. <laughs> And like the quality of their lives and like just the kind of gross like debauchery that was going on and now now I think I'm less like critical a lot of the time people thought my work was like almost against women but I think in the end like I am I'm presenting women in a small section of how they live their lives and I'm really interested in making the sexualized woman less controversial.